is a healthy BMI. Going by this, this person is healthy. So is this person. Maybe not this person. That's how we've all been evaluating health. By a number on the scale. But for many Indians, that number is misleading. This person who has the ideal BMI is unhealthy. This person is fat. Inside. Hello and welcome, you're watching Happiest Health. In this episode of the Y Axis, we look at why Indians are thin outside and fat inside. I was at a pathetic weight of 38 kgs at the age of 28, nobody around me thought I was unhealthy uh, because I was thin. Saraswati was diagnosed with an autoimmune condition where the body's immune system attacks and destroys platelets, leading to a low platelet count and increased risk of bleeding. When she had a deeper look at her body composition, she found out that her body fat percentage was 33%. 33% of fat at just 38 kgs of total body weight. The healthy range is between 10 to 20% for men and 20 to 30% for women and varies depending on activity levels. When I was telling my friends that, you know, I'm fat and the comprehension to this day uh, is like, but Saras, you were never fat. Uh, so I think people do not understand what fat means. 24% of Indian women and 23% of Indian men are overweight or obese. Do you see anything unusual about this visual? If your answer is yes or no, there is still a problem. Movement. We're all moving less. Who is walking until you go to a building without a lift, which is almost never? And if you thought this is a rare case, especially in rural India, think again. How often have you seen this colourful packet of chips in the most remote locations of the country? For the longest time, diabetes and obesity were lifestyle diseases limited to urban India. But now, rural India numbers are catching up too. In fact, the ICMR in diet study which I said showed that pre-diabetes is actually more in rural areas than urban areas, you know. So that itself is telling you that we are sitting on a ticking time bomb. While eating patterns and mobility has changed across the world, they affect our bodies differently. So the body composition pictures are clearer now. So we, for example, we very clearly know that South Asians, um, you know, are up to two times more liver and visceral fat. Um, they have more liver and visceral fat at the same BMI as compared to Caucasians, for example. So Indian men with normal BMI will have higher rates of fatty liver and insulin resistance than European men with the same BMI. All of these facts are, uh, they, they are very scientific in some ways, which people don't seem to understand a lot. South Asians tend to have a higher percentage of body fat, particularly visceral fat, due to their genetic predisposition to store fat in the abdominal area. This, combined with dietary habits that are high in carbohydrates and saturated fats, are key factors contributing to this difference in body types. And why is this not as clear to everyone? Because we go by BMI, which is just a calculation of height and weight. It does not differentiate between fat mass and muscle mass. Nor does it distinguish between subcutaneous fat, which is fat under the skin, and visceral fat, that is fat around the organs. The proportion of adults with obesity more than doubled in the last three decades. These people who have increased visceral fat, they may have the hypertension tendency, insulin resistance may be high, they may be pre-diabetic, they may have the liver fat increased or fatty liver and also they have a dyslipidemia or the abnormal lipid uh, profile. The percentage of children and adolescents with obesity increased four times in the same period. Many of them we operate because they don't respond to the regular treatment of diet, lifestyle changes, exercises and all. The youngest patient I have operated is 12 year old. Considering these various factors, earlier this year, experts gave a new definition for obesity altogether, especially for Asian Indians. It's not just BMI. 
it is any one of these body size measurements along with BMI or any two of these body size measurements regardless of BMI. The prevalence of abdominal obesity in India was found to be 40% in women and 12% in men according to a 2023 Lancet study. What the latest studies which we have done and others have done have shown, we Indians have less of the small fat in the abdominal wall. If you consume a lot of food, the Westerner, what it will do, you know, what will happen to him or her is that the abdominal wall will get with a lot of fat. It won't go inside. In Indians, there are very few. So it will get saturated fast. So where will the fat go? Spill over. It will go into the visceral fat inside. That will go to the liver. That's where all fatty liver, fatty liver we keep talking about. That is where the problem comes. Insulin resistance. Same fat goes into the pancreas. Pancreas won't produce insulin. In the liver it will go. It cannot work. The insulin cannot work. That is a classic Asian Indian phenotype that we are talking about. From fat diets to quick fixes, there is an advice for everything out there. The latest in the market being weight loss drugs. There are also advisories from the scientific community to tell you that this is not for everyone. The only thing is that you have to, they are expensive and second is that uh, they do produce some nausea and things like that and third thing is they are only as effective as, as long as you take it. If you stop it then slowly your weight will come back. While BMI is still a simple and quick way to understand one's health, there are other ways to look at the bigger picture, like the body fat analyzers or body composition analyzers or a DEXA scan. And what do you do if you're not very happy with these numbers? The answer is cliche. Move more, eat nutritious food, preferably home-cooked meals, sleep enough and reduce stress. Yes, stressing over those numbers can also add a few grams to your weight. Now that you've looked at the various angles to the story, can you look at these three people and identify who is healthy and who is unhealthy? What about now? Well, they are all of the same height and weigh approximately the same, but do not look the same. Being thin does not always mean being healthy. For Indians, the fat that we can't see may matter more than the fat that we can see. Know your fat, know your muscles, know your body composition and not just your weight.